Tick tock. Time to meet Grandfather Clock. It's a funny old thing time. You don't tend to think about it until it's running out. And that can be an alarming thought. A lion? It could be a cricketer. But when you're chasing time, you learn to make every single minute count. Who knows when you might be in extra time. During my career, I've had a good fortune to spend many of my hours looking after a great estate. It brings me huge pride to say I've been the keeper of such a loved institution. Hooray! There's a football boot. Maybe it's a footballer who loves playing golf. Yes. Now, I may be a grandfather clock, but don't let that fool you. I'm extremely young at heart. And I do relish a bit of competition. Boots with spurs on. It's part of my making and some things will never change. Look, there's a lot of, that's the third lion. The three lions. Now, I'm no stranger to performing, but tonight, will you guess who I am? And will it be the correct answer? Okay, here we go. Woo! One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. 9, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, rock We're gonna rock around the clock tonight Put your glass lights on, join us one We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one We're gonna rock around the clock tonight Gonna rock, rock, rock to the world get up Gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight When the clock strikes two, three and four He's got a distinctive voice voice sounds quite young We're gonna rock around the clock tonight to the book they like Gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock No confidence in this performance, man He's having a good time When the chimes ring five, six and seven We'll be riding seven's here We're gonna rock around the clock tonight Gonna rock, rock, rock To the book they like Gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight Yeah, come on ba, 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 ba. A bit out of breath, isn't it? Yeah! Give it up for Grandfather Clock, everybody! Oh, I loved it! I loved it. I have to say, your timing was impeccable. It was absolutely great. <laughs> what a wonderful performance. Jonathan, what did you think? A lot of energy there, great fun. It was like a little party broke out, didn't it, ladies and gentlemen? It was great fun. Good fun. I loved it. You were having so much fun. I do not think it's a professional singer. I think we are right in thinking that it's someone from outside that realm. The clues in the film made me think football at first, because there was... We were all counting the Lions, and we yes, thought three yes, Lions, three but lions. And if it was a footballer, and I, it was like, I'm going to... You know, something like catch the opportunity. I was thinking it's a goalkeeper. I was thinking maybe David Seaman. Ooh! <laughs> That's what I was thinking initially. Rita, what do you think? I thought that grandfather clock was really cute, actually. Oh, I really did. I loved it. Okay, so we've got clock. So the first thing I thought was countdown, okay? Oh, yes. yeah. And then I'm thinking <laughs> match of the day present a Des Lynam. Yes. Okay. Didn't he have a little moustache as well? It's and I think he's got a moustache too. Um, someone else just occurred to me, because when you were talking there, you were talking about TV and he mentioned chasing every opportunity. And if we're thinking of football and that, I know that Bradley Walsh, who presents the chase, used oh. to play for Brentford FC. Oh. So, and Bradley's a great singer. I wonder if it could be Bradders. Is it you, Bradley Walsh? Bradley Walsh. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Could be Bradley. No, any ideas? Do you know what it is, right? When I look at the VT, I see so much football clues. But I don't know if it's a footballer. I feel like it's someone that connected football and there were three lions on that VT. I'm thinking Frank Skinner. Oh, There's yes. a lot of lions. That's great. Studio audience very much enjoying that one. Davina, any ideas? Yes. So, 
competitive, someone a bit older, although your voice did sound deceptively young. Yeah. Obviously, the three lines, I was thinking England, um, and I was thinking football, and then I saw the cowboy boots, and I was thinking Spurs. Yeah, there were Spurs in the boots. Spurs yeah. on the boots. And is this someone that played for Spurs? Oh. So I came up with Les Ferdinand. Because yes. I thought he could be a grandfather, and he played for England. Do you guys want a clue? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Yes, 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 Go yes, for yes. it, Grandfather Clark. Give us a clue. I've never been academic, but I have been called a genius. I've never been an academic, but I have been called a genius. I think I might know who it is. He mentioned VT saying about a keeper. And I'm thinking, possibly played for England. I have a feeling this might be David James. Oh, my God! Yes. You've got it. That sounds good. Well, that's a good shout, actually. OK, we'll only find out who's behind the mask when the time is right. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Grandfather Clark! <laughs> Love him! He's confident. He's got some really nice athlete. That's right. Our panel think one of these famous faces is behind the clock. Who do you think it is? I really don't think the panel of clocks who I am yet. Or am I just winding you up? <laughs> wow, my first performance as the clock was magnificent. I loved it. The panel still don't know the face behind this clock face. David Seaman. Des Liner. Les Ferdinand. David James. And I intend to save my real identity for as long as possible. Ha 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 ha. As he gets up in the morning. Being a clock, timekeeping is very important, and I'm always punctual. It's a great skill, and my skills are often something that have been commentated on. He's a footballer. He could be a pundit. Things can only work like clockwork if you take time to practice. Postcode was SM1. Southampton, um, Sutton. Time invested in honing your skills is the secret to great success. <laughs> Talent is not enough. I work to make myself perfect. Well, he's very disciplined, clearly. That and a pinch of self-belief. And I guess you could say that I'm somewhat of a believer. I'm a believer. Now, you know the song, I'm a believer, was by the monkeys. 60s, right? I don't know about miracles or anything like that, but I have definitely seen the hand of God with my own two eyes. Tonight, I'm going to bring my best game, and it's goodbye is something I hope I won't be saying. It's like a friendly face, isn't it? You make me feel so young. Yay! You make me feel like spring has sprung. Wow. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual. The moment that you speak. He sounds like my granddad when he would sing to me. It's really nice tone. And seek. I wanna go and bounce the moon just like a toy balloon. You and I are just like a couple of tots running across the meadow, picking up rats off forget me nuts. I'm not a singer, but not a bad voice. It can't be a footballer, that voice is amazing. You make me feel there's songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful thing to be flung. I love him! And every time I'm more than I want to feel the way I do today. Cause you make me feel so young. You make me feel so young. Yeah. Oh, 
You make me feel there's songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful thing to be flung. And when I'm old and gray, I want to be the way I feel today. Cause you make me feel so young. Thank you, Grandpapa. Give it up for Grandfather Clock, everyone. I love it. <laughs> so good. I feel like my jacket would be sort of a sofa in the house that you would be in. That was so great. Jonathan, wasn't it? It was great. What a lovely start to the show. Didn't you do a great Yay! job? I think probably, and I really hope I'm not saying the wrong here, but I think you're probably not a professional singer, and yet you can sing. Yes. So yeah. it was a great job. You did a terrific performance. Look, the clues, the Hand of God reference was obviously Diego Maradona, 86, England versus Argentina in Mexico. OK, and we're thinking, OK, is it one of the squad? And I know some of the people in that squad, Waddle and Hoddle were out there. I just like saying Waddle and Hoddle together. <laughs> but the goalkeeper in the 86 team was Peter Shilton. I'm going to go with Peter Shilton. That's a really good guess, you know. Rita. Here's what I got. You obviously had a career of physical stuff, whether it's boxer or footballer. I'm gonna stick with football, and I don't really know how old this man is, but I know he's retired. He's a football pundit, and right on time, Ian Wright. Oh, good. Ooh, yeah, could be. That's a good guess. Love that. Davina, I'm gonna come to you next. Yeah, I mean, I think football, and I'm thinking um, 86, and um, that grey moustache makes me think of sort of salt and pepper hair, oh, and yeah, yeah. I was thinking um, Gary Lineker. Good guess, good guess. I'm actually much closer to Vino, and I can actually hear the crisp packets inside the, crisps, the suit as well. Exactly. <laughs> so, could, could be. It won't be Gary Lineker, his ears wouldn't fit under that hat. <laughs> Mo, what did you think? I just know that that performance was timeless, man. That was a timeless <laughs> performance that you've done there. Grandfather Clock, you're moving like a prime Casio right now. Um, <laughs> if you look at the clues, I've seen the punditry thing, the England link, and then there was also another link of SN1. I think it's actually Swindon Town that links again to football. So I'm thinking the former Arsenal player who's also a pundit, Lee Dixon. Oh, yeah. I think I've cracked it. Could well be. Well, guys, do you want a clue? Yes, yes. Please. Right, let's get some extra clues in a game we like to call Two Lies and a Truth. Oh, yeah. And surprisingly, this is where our celebrities tell us two lies and one truth, just like my Wikipedia page. <laughs> okay, Grandfather Clock, give us your first clue. I've never worked in a bank, but I'm still great at saving. He ain't worked in a bank because he's so rich. <laughs> <laughs> he must be a goalkeeper. What's the goalkeeper's name that was in the world? David oh. Seaman. Ooh, yeah, David Seaman. Yeah. Let's get another clue from you. A prime minister once compared our jobs. Right, if you're prime minister, you're saving the country. If you're a goalkeeper, you're saving the ball from going in the net. Or maybe he's in parliament of some sort. Maybe. Do you want the last one? Let's have the last one. People always give me stuff they don't like. This is, this is a hard one. It's a cryptic clue. I think we can rule that one out as a lie. It doesn't really make sense to any of us, does it? That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll only clear up the mystique around the antique when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Grandfather Clark. <laughs> Have our panel clocked who it is yet? Who do you think is behind the mask? Never mind Grandfather Clock. I'll be great Grandfather Clock by the time this lot guesses who I am. Ha, 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 ha. Up first to perform, it's Grandfather Clock. Good luck, sir. Yes, Grandfather Clock! There's a lot of 
of love in the room for the grandfather clock. You know I can't smile without you. Can't smile without you. I can't laugh and I can't sing. I'm finding it hard to do anything. You see, I feel glad when you're glad. I feel sad when you're sad. If you only knew what I'm going through, I just can't smile now. Rita, can you please tell us the name of the masked singer the panel have decided to keep in the competition? Yes. This decision is based off both performances this evening. You've both done brilliantly. The masked singer we're keeping in the competition is Viking. Wow. Viking, congratulations. We'll see you again next time. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Viking, everybody. Grandfather Clock, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. For your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end, and very shortly you will be removing your mask. But first, panel, of course, who do you think is behind the mask? Mo, I'm going to come to you first. So, I feel like we're getting closer and closer. The football, the pundits. I'm still going to go with my first guess of Lee Dixon. Lee Dixon, Mo. Davina. I am going to go football as well. I feel like you're tall, and I'm going to go with David Seaman. A lot of love for that in the studio. Uh, Rita, who are you going to go with? I'm going to go with my initial guest, Ian Wright. OK, Jonathan, finally. OK, so it was so hard, because we loved hearing you sing, but I think we felt from tonight's performances, the Viking had a bit more to give, and I think that you've given us so much already. I am going to go with football, like the rest of them. I'm going to go with that 86 England squad. I think it's a goalkeeper. I'm going to go with Peter Shelton. Peter Shelton. <laughs> All different people. Well, wow. Well, let's see if any of you are right. It's time to find out the identity oh, yes. of our masked singer. Woo, yes. Oh, Grandfather Clock, who's behind the mask? Take it off! 
I'm kicking myself. I'm kicking myself. And I've just remembered, you had a hit single, Hoddle and Waddle, Diamond Lights, was it called? Yeah, they had a hit single back in the day. I With should have Chris thought. Waddle. What was the Bulgaria postcard? I couldn't wear that out. That was, I made my England debut against Bulgaria. Oh. It's, good. Oh. it's a tough one for you. That was back in about 1929, was that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Back when I was watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> but you oh, sang no. great. You can really sing. We were wow. really loving your singing. It's so hot under there. I bet, oh, I sorry. bet. What did you think of our panel's guesses? Well, they were so close, I thought any, any time now you're yeah. just gonna, no, we... you're gonna nail it, but, you know, you didn't clock me. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're a legend in all of that, right? But what I want to know is which one was the truth out of those three? Oh, yeah. Was oh, it I the... know what it was, the Prime Minister one. Yeah. Because yes. you, you went Blair. to Tony Blair, didn't you? Yeah. You visited Blair when he was in office, wasn't it? Yeah, he said something, yeah. He said for the World Cup, it was like I had a bigger job than he did. Yeah. That's for true. six weeks, you know, yeah. and it, it was a bit like that. Wow. And you see the grey hairs. And in the end, history proved you did a better job than he did as well. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like being Grandfather Clock? It was so endearing, wasn't it? Yeah. When I saw it, I just fell in love with it. It was beautiful. Yeah. And then, you know, but uh, it's been a bit surreal. It's been great fun. I've loved it. It really has. It's Aww. wonderful. But uh, good luck to all the contestants Aww. that are going on. And, uh, Jane, can I brilliant. ask, what made you want to do it? I've always loved singing. And uh, when the opportunity came, I thought, OK, let's do it. But I, I didn't, you know, I, it's easy in the kitchen, isn't it? When you come out <laughs> here and you get a bit dry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you killed it. Great fun. Great fun. It's Aww. honestly been an absolute pleasure. Give it up for Grandfather Clark. Thank Glenn you. Hoddle, everybody. Thank you. That is it for tonight for behind the scenes exclusives, including a chat with this unmasked celebrity. Head over to the hub where you can catch the masked singer unmasked with Will N. Jovu. Next week, the guessing game continues, but before we go, performing for us one final time, unmasked at last, everybody, it's Glenn Hoddle! <laughs> Can't smile without you. Can't smile without you. I can't laugh and I can't sing. I'm finding it hard to do anything. You know I feel sad when you're sad. Feel glad when you're. 